Hey guys, and welcome back to Cyberpunk. Today I want to show you how to hack the breaches using your intelligence skill. You can find these things here with this red icon on the map. It almost looks like a present. <laughs> it actually looks so much like a present from far. It looks like a, like a little ribbon. But when you actually hack it here, you end up you end up finding a bunch of numbers and this at first can be really, really weird, especially since there's these sequences required to upload over here. So now when you do the data mine version 3, there usually has the highest amount of, of numbers that you need to do and I believe it gives you the highest amount of rewards as well for doing them. Sometimes you are lucky enough to actually get multiple sequences at the same time. You see if here we do the first sequence and the second sequence 1C, 1C, 5555, 55, both of those consist of the exact same sequence. Now we're only allowed to press four numbers and once we start pressing these numbers we have a timer that starts. So it looks like the timer is 31 seconds. As you get to harder places in the game this time will get a lot less but you do get to actually plan beforehand so there's actually no real worry here with the time because it only starts once you actually make your first click. So what you should do is you should scout out the numbers first. So for example let's look at 55 B, D, E9, and 1, C. So we can only start off on this horizontal row. And the moment you select one, you have to pick in a vertical row. So if I pick this 55 over here, I have to pick from this row here next. If I pick this 55, I have to pick from this row next. And once you pick something from here, it goes horizontal again. So I'm going to show you real quickly. I'm just going to quickly plan this out in my head here. So there's two 55s that we can go with over here. One of them will probably work really well, and the other one probably not. For example, you look at look at this 55. We need a 55 and a BD. If we go here 55, there's no BD. We're going to fail. The moment we start, we're going to fail because we don't have we don't have enough. We don't have a BD to select, so we have to select this 55, and then we go down to BD. So we select 55, BD, and then we're looking for an E9. So there's no E9 in this row over here, so if I select this BD over here, we're not going to be able to select an E9. So we're going to go 55, and then we're going to select this BD, because there's an E9 over here, and then you can select vertically again, which will give us a 1C. So to put this into practice, I'm going to show you quickly over here. So 55, BD... E9, and you can pretty much press any of the 1Cs that you want to. And we'll accomplish the final one there. It looks like it gave us 303 credits, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we, we hack some stuff. And that's a nice way to actually get some eddies or some euro dollars in the game just by hacking these things using your intelligence. Mainly they're found in like enemy bases and, you know, little hideouts and stuff. So you can score yourself some, 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 free, some free moolah, if you want to say that. And that's all I wanted to show you is how the little breach system, that little hacking system actually works in the game of Cyberpunk. And I'll see you in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.